something uh, on the rings, yeah. something to remember. So this makes you sure that you're in the right position. This bar will not always be given on the rack. If it's a gym, if it's here, if it's at home, whatever. This gym will never be even, unless you have OCD, like uh, myself, and I always do things as they're meant to be. So, judging by where you stand, or by the rack, you stand by the rack, you will not always lift this bar evenly, unless your grip is even. Once your grip is even, even if you're standing here, if your grip even grip, and you lift it up, it will correct itself. And then you know that you're in the right position. Now, for this squat here, we want feet shoulder width apart there. So just outside hips, where your shoulders are. The ball spacing is slightly out, not too much. Again, it depends on the mobility of your knees. Uh, if you feel any stress inside or outside of ACL, LCL, you can always play with the stand. So the regular stand will be just out, just, just slightly out. Never straight forward. There used to be a myth where people used to do a squat like that. And again, we put too much stress on, we want a feel relaxed condition, okay? Um, you always, when you lift this bar, you always want to stand directly underneath, so it makes it easier to lift it up. If you're too far from the bar, you will use in your lower back, using your neck to lift it, you will lose the energy, you will lose the time before we even start the exercise. So always underneath to lift. Then, don't step too much uh, back, uh, backwards. Simply because if you go like, if some people go like two steps back and the rack is really far away, and then you finish your reps and you're struggling, and then from here, with this weight, you have tired legs, you need to do these two steps, three steps, whatever. And again, this takes some energy and power. So the safest way is just to lift this up, go like face back, not too far from the rack, do your reps, and step back. You will hear the clank on the rack that tells you that it's safe to drop it down, okay? Some racks, back on there, they are uh, longer, so the shorter, this, this one is short, so we need to make sure we touch. Now, one thing we correct is your back position is great. You keep your back nice and flat, you push from your heels every time a little bit, that's what we want, because that activates the muscles we actually try to target. Uh, one thing you do, you lean forward a lot. So with your bar, I, I would I would like you to stay in the full right position here with the bar on your traps and your shoulders. What happens with you, you go to the deep, deep position in off, so you end up in this position here. So you lean forward. I believe, uh, after all the research that I did, that I experienced, it's, a bit, it's like a fear of falling back. Especially with ladies, but with men only, not just ladies. But mainly, mainly them. Uh, it almost like as if you think the bar will pull you back, which is that's that's the fact. The weight on there, so the ball, you push off the ball, the gravity will try to move you backwards. So I'm explaining this. So what if it's you know if it's a lightweight, it's fine. Or if it's dumbbells, it's fine. Again, it takes the stress of the muscle group that you want to work on. But what it does to you, it puts a lot of stress on your neck and your lower back because all the weight is on there, you hold from here. So you will try not to fall forwards more, but this works a lot, much more than your legs. When I'm in this position, my quads, hands and glutes, they do the job of holding the bar. But the more I move towards the ground, the more stress I put on my lower back, not to mention it's not curling, but it's also a neck. And it's easy to snap. Okay, so this is something where something we need to work and we get there. Yeah, I'm not saying today or next week, but we're just gonna get there. Just be aware of this whole thing. The other things is your reminder, and I think as we go we'll progress. Well let's today let's just focus, especially on the warm-up sets. Let's just focus on this body position, okay? So even grip. Underneath. This is your strong position here yeah, now, so lift. That's it, on your traps, on your shoulders. That's perfect, that's enough. Okay, shoulder width apart as you do, lovely. On the way down, we're gonna inhale, and the way up is exhale. So we try to go a little bit deeper, okay? Hips at least knee high, and bring the knees outside as well. Push them out as 
to go down, okay? So you're kind of making uh, room for your hips, if you want to think that way about it. That's better, that's better. I like the fight is just nice and flat, it doesn't fit. That's it, and we try to go deeper and deeper every time. That's nice. What's going? What's going? Is it? So I'll just I'll just this for you. Okay. There you go. There you go. So do one more like this. Try to go nice and low. I'm here for you if you need my help. Right. Okay. Now walk it forward. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. And now pull it out. That's the safest way. Okay. Step out. Relax into the round and have a little break and then we put some weight on. Okay? 